So today we're going to be talking about the rapier and the best PvP build for a new world. But before we get into that, don't forget to leave a like rating and a comment down below about what type of content you want to see on the channel. Maybe consider subscribing. And if you really like the content, maybe becoming a channel member. And don't forget to check out the streams whenever I can stream, even though my net's terrible and I can't really stream right now. But soon when the net gets fixed, we're going to go back to consistently streaming here on the channel. All right. So now that we got that whole little intro covered and all that sort of stuff, let's actually get into the video. All right. So now that we're in game, you guys know what we do here. We hit K, we go to weapon mastery, but I have two things I need to preface this video with. And first of all, it's fixing something for my sphere video. A lot of people in the comments were like, we're not sure that thrust weapons apply bleeds inherently. Right. And you might have something like bleeding sweep or keenly jagged on your spear that might be applying bleeds without you noticing and that is true my spear does have keenly jagged which is why on crits i'm applying bleed so exposed wounds isn't really useful if you have no way to apply a bleed so i need to add to that video something that i'm going to add here hopefully people see it i've also been replying to the people in the comments talking about it so we've been having like a back and forth discussion but you should have keenly jagged on your spear if you want to use this build or potentially bleeding sweep on your spear to, to basically apply a bleed through a sweep or apply a, a bleed through an on crit hit so this perk works but if not i mentioned remove this perk and put a crippling jab perk on and you guys might be wondering why this perk tree looks different because in this current build i am using skewer which applies bleeds with um skewer and that's because the spear is a secondary to my to my rapier but like that's why this build has changed compared to like the spear build that i released two videos ago because now it's a secondary to my rapier all right and the second thing i want to say is the rapier is a little bit of a different weapon in comparison to most of the other weapons because it has like a lot of different perks that have potentially four slots and it also has a middle tier perk for the blood tree that pushes all the way into the final perk of the left tree but with all that being said let's actually get into the build and the first thing i want to say is that making this build is actually pretty difficult because i make these videos with the weapon as a primary weapon in mind and i feel like the rapier and even the spear are better suited for a secondary weapon slot to a like ranged weapon to a uh, bow or musket so creating it with a primary weapon slot in mind it becomes a little bit more difficult to find good perks and really narrow down the three abilities and even the last perk that you want so these are the abilities that i felt best fit that requirement you have a good mobility skill in flet flitchy flit flesh bleach glitch glitch i don't know how to say this word but basically the one that lets you spin and lunge forward you have repose which is an amazing defensive skill and basically stops anything in the game like anyone hits you with an ability it doesn't matter what the ability is you will repost the damage and hit them right and then for your damage you're going to use flurry and the reason i picked flurry is because you can cancel out of it at any point in time by dodging which is really good so you don't need to go through all five of the hits if you start hitting them with one or two of the hits and you notice that they dodge away you can dodge forward towards them and not be stuck in a five hit animation right and with these three skills i think you get a well balanced build of like movement defense offense and it allows you to play like a very versatile game of chess almost with your opponent you know, if you notice they're going to do something that might disrupt your movement, you repost the skill, like a stun or something from a hammer. If they try to run away, you can flitch, flitchy, flitch, flitchy, the barrel dodge towards them. And maybe even after a repost, you can hit them with a flurry. And if you notice that they dodge after you've hit them with the first few flurries, you can cancel it and push towards, towards them, right? And with all that being said, obviously, you, you notice that we're not going to be going down the left tree so that means that you're going to be picking up the right side perk in momentum which basically increases your uh damage on your next light attack after using the ability and that's basically the build because a lot of your points go into the skills themselves so you don't really have a lot of side perks to pick the ones i did pick are like refreshing strike where reduce all cooldowns by one percent on any hit which is pretty good uh deal 10 percent more damage to targets below 50 percent of their health great Gain 3% haste for four seconds on a rapier hit. So you can kind of get some mobility to push people or even disengage because what makes the rapier different from a lot of the weapons also gain three stamina on hit for more dodges. Cool, uh, critical strike reduce all cooldowns by 
but what you'll notice with the rapier gameplay is that it's a lot of like knowing when to go in and when to leave and finding those good points in time to get damage in and disengage is what makes you really good with this weapon and what will make the gameplay even viable because if someone's sitting there slanging and banging with a great axe like the great axe is going to win they're probably going to be in full heavy armor which you're not going to be in full heavy armor while using the rapier you're probably going to be in medium or even potentially light i use medium because i still want to have even a little bit of sustain and you get three dodges which is good but you need to know when to go in take a fight and then when to exit that fight and you need to keep your skills up for those specific things do i dodge in or do i uh use my movement skill to get into the fight and now that i'm in here can i hold for however long it takes me to then leave um holding your post for good skills that will can potentially get you killed because you know you have a much smaller health pool than someone in full heavy it basically becomes like i said a big game of chess and knowing when to use your skills at the right time when to make those proper decisions to get in and out of a fight you know having good communication if you are playing in an opr in a war with your healer can you heal me at this per at this point in time do i need to repose do i need to get in in and out do i need to leave which I think is good because it creates like a little bit of a complex game state and like it makes the game more enjoyable, right? You know, you're not just running in with a great axe, throwing a grab well, slanging and bagging, reaping, and then just dropping or switching your hammer, dropping all of its AOE stuns and then switching back. And then, you know what I mean? That's a lot more straightforward of a, of a game plan. And the rapier with a spear as a secondary becomes a little bit more complicated, a little bit more complex. You need to keep track of a lot more parameters because of course you're in lighter armor and stuff like that. All right, so now that we covered the build and kind of like the play style in one fell swoop, I wanna talk about attributes. And the two attributes I think you should be picking up are Dex and Con. And you might be thinking, why are you hitting the 100 Con breakpoint? Well, I use full medium armor and you might be asking, why are you using full medium on like a rapier spear? These are not so much like the sit in the middle of the fight and fight constantly, you're gonna be getting hit a lot type of builds. Yes, but the reason I use full medium is because you will still be getting hit, obviously, especially in a big group of people. So having that extra physical and elemental armor is good. And also having medium allows you to have an extra movement, right, in your dodges, right? I don't use my dodges, especially if I'm in light, to just escape a fight. I use my dodges as what I believe they're intended for, and that is to dodge skills, dodge attacks, and allow me to reposition myself. And having medium... The movement from the medium is good enough and also having an extra movement option in that dodge is really good so i think for most if not all of the melee classes it should be medium and or heavy specifically for these two or any of these two related weapons i think it should be medium especially when you get the medium uh dex void bent set which is really good for both of these weapons because they're both dex primary spec weapons so that's why i hit 100 con because it gives me ten, it gives me ten extra or ten percent more uh, health from my physical armor, which is basically like an extra hundred to two hundred health, which is pretty good, right? So the, I've survived so many combats where I have like an extra hundred health that I was able to play with and really like decide, oh, is my healer going to heal me now? I have a hundred health. Let me in and out. Like having that extra health and also just in general that armor and also your consumables hitting you twenty percent uh, stronger. So like that's also really good too. So I just think in general, having a little bit of con, if it's just a hundred is still great. And then obviously put the rest of it, the rest of it into decks. Pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Self-explanatory. The only thing I need to talk about is the reason I have a hundred con is because I run medium and I think hitting the second con breakpoint is actually pretty good and allows you to, if you need to take a little bit more of an extended fight than you normally would be able to, if you were just full light. The next thing we're going to talk about is hit tab and armor, obviously. Dex, Dex Void Vent. Super simple, Dex Void Vent. I have a couple of, I have a heavy Void Vent piece because you can still run one heavy Void Vent and I run the helmet and it allows you to stay within the medium. And then for the most part, it's like, I have a couple of con pieces, right? Because I wanted to hit a hundred con because I was staying in medium. But other than that, if you were gonna go, if you were gonna go full light, you would basically just get full Dex across the board. And you probably wouldn't even use the the Dex Void Bend set because it would be too, too heavy. So you might need to have like a, a better split of like maybe two medium pieces and the rest light. 
so you can be under the threshold because i know you can have some medium and still be under the light threshold so you would have to create that split yourself all right so now that we're here thank you guys so much for getting this far into the video thank you guys for watching all the content that i've been producing the videos have been doing insanely well everything on the channel has been doing amazing and i can't wait to get back to streaming once my net is better don't forget to like i said leave a comment down below about what type of content you want to see give me your opinions on the build too let me know you know do you think this skill is better than that skill because like again i'm only one person and i do talk to my guild mates about like what do they think about builds and i test it with them but at the end of the day we're still just one guild on one server there's thousands of people that play this game even like tens of thousands of people that play this game and getting everyone's opinion would be fantastic. I don't want to drag on for too long, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Aye, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me.